Today on Design, Build, and Fix, we're going to show you how to use layers and tags with groups in SketchUp. If you like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. So, let's show you how we do it. So now I know that these are different, different groups. So now what happens is I move these things, I move it over here, and then I decide I want to move this away, they're no longer connected because they're individual groups. And that's very, very important when it comes time for you to have a very complicated model and you don't want things to stay stuck together or you don't want them to be stuck together at all. You want them to be individuals, so to speak. All right, so now, the, now that we know the importance of groups, now we want to be able to put these groups in a different layer or a tag. And so what's going to happen, you're going to come over here to this tag button. And at this point, you're going to, you, we have no layers. So you're going to create layers. Uh, I'm going to put a plus, uh, click the plus mark, and that's going to create a new layer for us. And you can name this whatever you want. For instance, if uh, uh, you're building a house, you could put this as, uh, you know, floor. Um, and then say OK. And then you want to create another layer. You click that, and you can say these are windows, okay, and say OK. And notice those have been uh, placed over here. And honestly, whatever you name your layers, if it's an architectural thing you're working on, you want it to be related to what you're working on, whether it's windows, doors, molding, uh, columns, it doesn't matter, uh, as long as you label them. And then if you're moving on to something else as far as um, something completely different, make sure you know what that name is going to be associated with. All right, so now we want to put these groups into specific tags or layers. And so, for instance, I'm going to come over here, I'm going to select this group, and let's say I want this in my floor group. I'm going to come over here to the three dots, and I'm going to assign this a tag. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to check to make sure that this group went to the floor. And I'm going to turn the eyeball off. Notice it goes off. And I'm going to do the same thing here to this one. And I'm going to put it in my windows. Click the three buttons. Click the assign. Check to make sure where it's at. And everything has been grouped and placed into a layer or a tag. Now, just so you know, uh, I usually call these layers. But for some reason, SketchUp has changed the name to tags. But either way, layers or tags, it's the same thing. So that's how you use groups and layers and tags in SketchUp. All right. Well, thanks for watching today's video. If you like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. The new series that's coming up next is going to be on how to design a house in SketchUp. So we'll hope to see you there.